And you think you can go for a walk in January without any problems, and then a bee hit me in the face today. <laughs> in January, the January bee, and I have a bee phobia. I'm phobic of bees, and I don't want to hear your logic. I don't want to hear, just ignore the bee, and the bee will go away. No, it won't, you fuckhead. It will find me, and it will... That, you can have a hundred people in a room, and one of them is afraid of bees, and release a bee from a jar, and don't tell the bee who the one person is, and you will find the most afraid person. And there'll be 99 people standing around and going, Dirk Dumour, and we'll go away. Uh, no, 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 found me. Does he have my picture in his hive? How did he know I was there? I'm afraid. I can't people deal with that. And my fear of flying trumps that even, because, and, and here's where logic really can get out of my life. Because people will, they want to put me on pills, because I don't want to get on a plane, a cylinder, I know nothing about, and be hurled through the stratosphere. The doctor's going, you have a problem with your brain, you need a pill to fix that. The pill's called Ativan, this will help you. And they give me Ativan, and Ativan does not take your fear away. Ativan's fine when you're, when you're sitting around drinking, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't take your phobia away, it doesn't rob you of your fears, it numbs your muscles and slows your heart, so you can no longer physically manifest panic. But your brain still works, in the absence of all that fear, my brain, mid-flight, comments and says things like, you know, this plane was built by the lowest bidder. And... <laughs> so, the therapist asked me a great question. He said, what would make you more comfortable on a flight? And I said, hands down, a parachute. A parachute, by far, because we have airbags in our cars. I've never seen mine, but I'm comfortable, but it's there. Parachute. And he goes, I agree with you. We're going to arrange for you to take a parachute on board of a flight. We're going to take it away at a later date. That's how we're going to beat your, your phobia. And the problem is that I've been a comedian for almost 15 years now. All my friends are comedians. They don't care when somebody goes to jail. They just want to laugh. So they gave me a parachute and were like, just do it. Don't arrange it. You won't do it if you don't think. And you don't have any idea how crazy you are until you find yourself holding a parachute in an American airport post 9-11 in the security lineup trying to justify it as your carry-on. And they don't care. They don't listen to anything you have to say. They put you in a little room. Right away, and there's a guy with a machine gun and another guy. <laughs> And the, the one guy berates you, and it's the guys with the machine gun's job to agree with everything the guy says that berates you. Because he's like, why do you need a parachute in this airport? And the machine guy's like... <laughs> and <laughs> I told him the truth. And he, he says, oh, geez, a uh, parachute is not going to help you if you bang into a mountain. <laughs> So now I've got a new fear. That's what I mean. <laughs> People will try to hit you with their logic and say things like, you know, Kyle, statistically, you're more likely to die on the cab ride to the airport than the actual accident on the plane. Yeah, okay, fine. But your death screen in a cab would be short. <laughs> You'd see the train or whatever coming in. Train! You're dead. That's it. It's over. You get sucked out of a plane. Anytime you gotta reload on a death screen, it's a bad day, you're having a bad time. So, and, and, and what you don't think about if you're not a phobic is you're left with your ego at that point. Your ego is wants you to live. Your ego is the thing that tells you, we're well, gonna take that cop. No, you can't. Your ego will get you in trouble, and when you're falling, you should be making peace with it. You should be saying, well, I'm going to die. I should make peace with my life. But your ego is going to say, no, we're still in it. We, we might bounce. It's going to tell you, you still have a shot. I'd be on, I know my ego is huge. I'd, have, I'd be on my iPhone the whole way. I'd be like, where, oh, where am I? I'm over Winnipeg somewhere. Fuck, who do I know in Winnipeg? Like, the whole way down. Why not? What do you got to lose? Let me on. Jerry, Jerry, thank God you're home. <laughs> Listen very carefully. We have one shot of this, okay? <laughs> do you still have your trampoline? You still have that? I'm gonna need it. 